have the pleasure to be on the Goering stand and as you can see it's absolutely packed. People looking at the latest innovations and technologies in regards to cutting tools. Um, what a fantastic stand. Um, thanks for having MTD on your stand today. Thank you very much for visiting us. Um, welcome to Goering, welcome to the AMB. Um, yes, uh, as you can see, uh, we have several topics uh, on our booth. Uh, we have the tool management with the digital services. Uh, we have the e-business, we have industry solutions, and of course, we have uh, our latest tools. And what are, what are we going to see today? Uh, let's have a look for the mold and die. So let's go to mold and die first. Yeah. We are now going to look at some of the solutions available for the mould and dye industry and, and looking at how your products and technology and innovations can achieve superior surface finishes on, on a range of uh, materials. So can you start with telling us about the new innovations and products yeah. that you're showcasing today? Yes, I will do. Thank you. My name is Rolf Erler. I'm the product manager for uh, Milling at Goering. And uh, today I want to introduce our G-Mould uh, end mill programme which starting uh, in very small sizes. So we start the end mills from 0.2 millimeters with a full radius and uh, we have also the corner radius program and a square corner. The program is uh, extremely exact ground. So we have tolerances plus minus five micron and we have a superior uh, finish on the cutting tools uh, combined with a very hard carbide. And we have a very, uh, excellent coating. It's a high PIMS technology where we bring this uh, silicon based coating on it and therefore we get a very high lifetime and when we look on the workpiece you see the surface finish we can achieve. Uh, it's a Stavax uh, material with 55 HRC and uh, with our um, mold and dye machine uh, we use a machining center in our R&D. It's a machine from Kern where we test the tools and uh, prove uh, the quality we can achieve on the workpiece. So when we have a look on the um, excellent uh, coolant, uh, here you can see that we have uh, coolant ducts in the carbide, which uh, give us the possibility to bring the air or the coolant directly on the cutting edge. And this is a very unique design, uh, which uh, allows a perfect uh, swarf evacuation because when you want to achieve a perfect surface finish, it's necessary that every chip is blown away before it can get between the workpiece or the cutting edge. Now, this, this is fascinating. The actual uh, through coolant or air through air on yeah. such a small diameter tool. What is the smallest tool that you can incorporate the through coolant on? Yeah. It is uh, uh, from the smallest tool with the 0.2 millimeter, but we have to look that the coolant goes not through the cutting edge because if you have the coolant duct in the cutting edge, it would weaken the workpiece and therefore uh, uh, we lose the strength. So we bring the coolant into the peripheral uh, uh, diameter. That means our four millimeter shank has four coolant ducts outside the cutting diameter and the six millimeter tool has six coolant ducts and therefore we get an enormous volume we bring directly on the spot where we cut. And it's uh, the advantage that we get a very good surface finish. So the, the unique design is, is, is aiming the, the through coolant through the, sh the, the shaft, yes. um, which is directed to the cutting edge of the tool. Exactly. So that's the uh, unique position. Uh, no mold and dye supplier uh, use such a technique. Uh, we as Goering produce our own carbide. We can design the carbide exactly how we need it. And the result is a much longer lifetime and a much higher process reliability. Now, you, you're saying that it's absolutely key to produce a top quality surface finish on the tool yes. that you manufacture, which will reflect the surface finish on the component. What kind of surface finish tolerances are you achieving? Yeah, we go down uh, to the mirror finish. Uh, it's uh, difficult to measure. Uh, it's a uh, RA uh, under uh, 0.05. So it's an extremely low, uh, um, um, uh, how do you call this, uh, this uh, tolerance uh, on the workpiece. And uh, I want to show you how this is a glossing surface when we look on this workpiece. So um, when we go back to the tool holder, in the tool holder, uh, normally we also use this peripheral coolant, but it's uh, in the thin vault holder, not possible to get the coolant ducts inside. And therefore we bring it into the cutting tool so uh, the distance between uh, through the cutting edge coolant or peripheral coolant give us a 
big advantage uh, without weakening the tool. Well, this is fascinating stuff. So if you're in the mold and dye industry and you are looking for that perfect surface finish, consider Goering for your next cutting tools. <laughs>